So you're going to pick up one, two, three, and then you're going to drop the stitch. Pull a little more yarn through. Let's do that again. You're going to pick up one, two, three, pull that through, and drop, literally drop the next stitch. One, one two, three. And drop the next stitch. Four. Pick up one, two, three, and drop the next stitch. Pick up one, two, three. Pull it through and drop the next stitch. Pick up one, two, three, pull it through and drop the next stitch. One, two, three, four. Pick up one, two, three. And drop your next stitch. Pick up one, two, three. Oh. Oh, get a little stuck here. There we go. And drop your next stitch. Pick up one, two, three. I always do just four, so you can pick up one, two, three, pull it through, and drop your next stitch, and you'll have three stitches left. And that last one sometimes is tricky to pick up for me, so I'll go back this way and just grab it. And now you're just gonna pull this yarn. It's very long. Remember, you did five body lengths of yarn, which is about six and a half yards. And you're just going to keep pulling it and pulling it all the way through. And that'll take a little bit. And then you're going to crochet along this edge. Okay, so you've taken, you've cast off, and you will see your edges. These are your drop stitches, the ones that are already coming out. And this is the edge with the really long tail. So what you're gonna do is find your first stitch here and you're just gonna pull it up. Do a little chain and turn. And we're gonna go right back into that same stitch with a single crochet. And we're going to single crochet in the next stitch. And then the next one is going to be this big space that's your drop stitch. And you're just going to do a single crochet in there. And then you'll see your next one. And even though you dropped three stitches in between, you're just going to single crochet through two and then get to your drop stitch. It seems to work out that way, but it works out well. And so you have two here. And then the next one is going to be your drop stitch. And you're just going to continue right across this edge. And just with a nice single crochet, you'll see it's just making an edge here. And you'll be able to pull it and straighten it all out. You'll see it'll smooth. But a single crochet, single crochet. Here's your drop. 
is a single crochet, a single crochet, and five drop stitch. There we go, single, single, drop stitch, and a single crochet in there, a single crochet right across. You just gotta pull it as you go along. You'll see it like tightens up, but you just pull it and you'll be able to see it. And you always wanna pick up the two stitches. By the way, there's two stitches that you're picking up to single crochet into. And make sure you get the end ones. You gotta really pull them. Here's one. And then your last one is going to be this edge here. And you're going to chain one. And I like to do at least one more row of single crochet across. Or you can do two. And if you want it longer, you could even add a double crochet. But you're just going to single crochet in that first stitch. And now it's really easy to see as you go along. And then I'm just gonna stop here for a sec just to show you. Your stitches have already started to come out and you're just gonna literally pull them down. You wanna make sure you put your single crochet on the other edge first. So you wanna have both your ends nice and done and then start pulling out your stitches. Okay. There you go. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm.